Welcome to the Top Up Show for Saturday, 23rd of uh, May. Now it's sunny outside, GP. G'day, good. Yes. Good morning, guys. Sunny down here at Coogee and a um, little bit of cloud coming over now, but what's the story, mate? Uh, story is windy, will be intermittently sunny, cloudy, possibly showery as well. Just a bit of everything. Yep. Um, a fair few scratchings. Some races badly affected, other races not too badly affected. Badly uh, affected in the first. <laughs> Yes. Yes. So look, I look the um, depending on which weather station you weather reporter you look at, um, the wind is supposed to get pretty brisk from the southwest, probably west southwest. So it's a sort of a tailwind in the strait, but not 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 completely. Um, yeah. Race one. What are we doing now, Gord? Now that uh, number one's come out, have you had a look at the fresh look at the race, or you just you just go, well, I've, I'm I'm done now. Done now, not betting in the race. Um, I think it's very hard to line up Peltzer and Overlord there. So um, I, I don't know which way I'd want to go with those two. So I just won't yeah, bet in the race. Yeah, it, it looks like this condition suit Overlord more, but Peltzer did put two lengths on it. Yeah, so I don't uh, don't play. Well, and do, they dra- do they drag on each other? And then something else lobs, maybe. It's, it's, it is low twos, Overlord, and um, it seems... Seems pretty tight, doesn't it? Uh, I thought it seemed particularly tight. Um, uh, yeah, I, 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 you know, I, I could back either one of them, but I, th- I think I need three dollars overlord, and I need three fifty pelter to bet. Yeah, uh, and uh, got no be... feel for the bottom one, but I don't know. Just racing gets in the way sometimes when these things change like that overnight. Or the well, yeah, but it, it, all that happened was that the horse you like came out. The map is pretty much unchanged. Yeah, and a few other runners came out there, Mark. Just Marnix, a little bit of purr in there, which I didn't like. It, it, I went from being keen about the race to not so keen. I'm like, good. I, I'm going to watch a parade there. Yeah. Well, I suspect I'll be back in one of the two. There's two particularly th- annoying things in racing is that at scratching time, a horse comes out that you hated that was hard in the market. That's true. And, yeah. and, and, then, and then you've bet a coin, you've bet. And uh, at the at the barriers, a horse comes out that you hated and bet around, it, and uh, obviously that's uh... yeah. And it changes sometimes the pace scenario, the race, so the things you you know it's it's almost should be sending back to the stalls and run the race an hour later, rebetting, but it's not like that, and it can't be like that. No, no. Uh, race two, the the well, the the firmer here is Mouse Almighty, the fifty to one winner at Wagga. Uh, of whom uh, Biscara was, uh, I think, the favourite in the race. Uh, they match up again today. There, there seems to be a bit of resistance to, to Jory here. Okay. I guess, you know, it is 1,200 back to 1,000 and um, game on. But, uh, yeah, so look, it look I, what I'm suggesting is that the Jory fans are, are looking at a, at, um, at a generous price here. Gord, do you, can you get involved? I'm uh, a little bit keener this morning than I was uh, when we did the um, the show yesterday on number three to Jory. Um, definitely going to back it. I'm glad it's not a complete bog. Um, yeah. And then the other one I'm going to have something small on is number number eight, uh, Talis. So that were the two I mentioned yesterday, but I'm keener this morning on to Jory. Yeah. But it'll be interesting to see how they handle this Matthew Dunhorse, which is still quite hard in the market. And um, um, you mentioned, Gord, that... Um, there was a, a segment of the market, a, a, a serious segment of the market that um, that was all over it. Yeah. Uh, race three, the 2000 metre race. Again, not much changing here. I uh, see our man Henry Coy had a bit of a um, um, something to say about reinvest. Um, he was perhaps against it. Foxborough is firm as firm as firm. It's, uh, it's into $4. Um, and on the fair is the... Um, is the most matched, um, 3,000 matched there, only two and a bit on the favourite reinvest, which is still favourite. Funny, I, that's the one I was tipping yesterday, and you guys kind of looked at me like I had four eyes. Yeah. And, and now it's the firmest on the fair this morning. I'm sort of turning myself off it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, with, the drying condi- with the drying conditions, I'm heading back to the favourite reinvest, or the proper favourite. Mm. Yeah, obviously, uh, I mentioned yesterday that this 2,000-metre start with a six-metre rail, it, 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 it's, it's not a great start for the wide draws. Um, obviously, you know, we'll have an opinion about the track at this point, even though it's a, a small field two-year-old on a 1,000-metre highway. Uh, Gord, um, where do we stand here? Yeah, total agreement with Glenn there. I think reinvest is the bet. I'm loving the fact that Foxborough's taking up that percentage of the market. 
So am I, but uh, we'll have to wait and see on that one. Race four, um, uh, Glenn, you lost a, you lost a, an interest here in um, California, California Longbow, which seemed um, mm. an unnecessary, it, unnecessary scratching. It was one of the scratchings you talk about that when you're disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes. Of course. There was a few of them in today. Spooky Wookie at the 200s. I was going to win a million on it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm still seven rock dove guys, not to mention since harder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're I, a much richer man today, uh, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually dreamt last night I had a million to 160 in Sensata with the Tab Mears to 160 in Sensata all up spooky wookie. <laughs> That's right. I suppose, so you're I only in Jason 160. Coyle if he can't win. I don't know. It's the same, it seems to be that way. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm still uh, rocked up here, guys, but uh, Klein a race. A new arrangement is threatening to run favourite here. That doesn't surprise me. Well, I suppose he's there. It's, it's, it's you know, it's Walla, uh, J Mac, have you got an opinion on new arrangement, Gord? Uh, yeah, I'm not betting in the race, Mark. It's been about five minutes on it. Okay. Uh, now, here's the, here's the cut about the, uh, the 1100 metre um, at sea. And uh, we're now looking at, um, well, the betting says a match race between Southern Lad and Coruscate. And, um, yeah, low twos, Southern Lad and mid twos, Coruscate, uh, no interest in the other three. Um, is that the story, Glenn? I think that is the story, Mark. I think they got them in the right order, and I think they're the only types. It is, uh, it is interesting that we are talking about a match race between a horse that's had its last start at Caulfield and the other horse that had its last start at Wagga. Yeah, well, that's unusual. Unusual times, Mark. Can you can you play here, Gordon? Definitely I mean, Coruscate, Coruscate's taking up um, a large percentage. Uh, any black odds is good odds, Southern Lad. Um, I, I mentioned yesterday I was hoping for a few scratchings to, to turn it into a Monty. And I think with, only, with it only being a five-horse field, it suits Southern Lad down to the ground. Um, well, this is the first horse, first race that we have to actually have to talk about the, um, the change in the map because we lost the first four in the map. Um, so... According to Racing New South Wales, that, that should mean that Southern Lad would lead. Well, that won't be happening. That won't happen. No. Why? Who's going to lead? Passage of time leads. <clears throat> Why? It's, it's steady as she goes, blinkers off, like it went back first up last time at 1100. You know, yeah, it's that... Joe Pride not, you know, not ready. I okay. Lead. So you, you reckon passive of time leads Southern Lad. So Southern Lad, the fitter horse on the outside there. Um, oh, look, I, I think Coruscate's a chance of leading as well, but it's it's a uh, it's a dawdle, and um, not much. It doing. is a dawdle. Uh, the next race we also have a, an interfered with map because we lost the leader Petronius, and now Agassi looks to well vie for the lead. <clears> it's the firmer, and we also lost my Demetra, who was going to to poke. What's this Agassi, Mark? Agassi is single figures now. It was um, seventeen dollars just now. Well, thirteen dollars with scratchings. So. Okay. Um, I got to say, I, it always brings a smile to my dial when they back them up after three days. I just love it. Well, not, is, not, not, not because I want to back them. I just, I love horses racing. Well, this is twice in two weeks for Anthony Cummings. He backed up. Um, love, love words. Yeah. Love, love La, no, um, the love, stay in the yellow. Yeah. Love to rock. Or something love to like rock. rock. Yeah, go yeah, Gordo. Kev, 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 you're all wrong. Gordo's you're on the money. You're freshened up, Gord. You're back. <laughs> 20 hours sleep will do it too. Yeah, okay. Uh, look, solid interest in um, in the horse that you both of you like strongly. Miss Einstein, it's low twos. It's trading strongly. Um, as I mentioned, Agassi has got, a, has got a few fans, but it is flat as a biscuit, isn't it, Glenn? Who, Agassi? Yes. Yeah, yeah, but I just, I, I'm not saying I want to back it. I just like how it's racing. I like the interest of horses racing in three days after. I think it's great for racing. All right, so what do we make of, uh, I suppose... I, don't, I haven't heard about Nara tomorrow, but maybe it's in doubt. But uh, Greek heroes elected to stay here. Car uh, Karen has got, got on board. Gord, is that uh, it's, a, it's a horse that you have an opinion of? Is that um, annoying or? You don't yeah, I, I was I, I was annoyed about that because I really wanted Greek hero to be scratched because it is the sort of nord on the roulette as far as this race is concerned. I was keen to back ten Miss Einstein and have something small on eight opacity, but now Greek heroes in there, it just. Just another sort of little scary horse there. I'll probably reduce my bets on the two I previously mentioned. Yeah. All right. Anything else to say, Glenn, before we... I uh... think the favourite's particularly short now. Oh, you think it's particularly short now? It's low twos, you said. No. Low, sorry. 
low three dollars. Oh, okay. That's yes, bad. Yes. I, when you said low twos, I thought you said two twenty, two thirty. I understand the confusion because I'm thinking low two, two ish to one. It's, it's nine to four on the fair. Okay, so if it's nine to four, it's a bit. Um, sorry about that. Uh, the thousand meter race. He's super lucky. It, it has attracted a fair amount of interest here. Of course, as you forecast, Gord, uh, we lost. I'm a cool kid. Um, too good. Your phone, Gord. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till the stewards get hold of that phone, oh. mate. I tell you what, bloody hell. It'll take them a while to go through all the information. <laughs> does, a, does a seriously cracked screen affect the uh, the extraction of data from a phone? <laughs> I tell you what, it'll be more, if they ask for it, it'll be more than cracked. <laughs> it'll, it'll go through the blender. <laughs> all right, you might need a new blender there. Uh, GP, any 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 top up to offer here on the thousand on the short course race? Uh, no, I'm still pretty particularly keen on switch there, guys. And uh, again, I thought Sophia gets a nice run. I th see, there was a bit of money for Sophia overnight. Well, yeah, we've uh, when when is Glynn's last winner? Can we remember? I can't remember. Hmm. It is it is that far back. Well, the, the point the point about this race is they have switched their positions, uh, switched and on Florage, uh, so switched definitely favourite now. Um, Gord, uh, keener or not? Uh, not keener, but still happy to back those two horses. I'm going to have, I'm going to back number 13 switched and I'm going to, I'm reducing the bet I would normally would have had on a wetter track on number 11. Which is, what's it called? Long bottom. Long bottom. Long bottom, long bottom. Yeah, look, I think it's a particularly interesting race uh, and a good betting race to have for race seven. Race eight, um, the octagonal, 1400 metres and... No significant changes here. Um, where, are we, where are we sitting with Archidemus? Still, still as keen, Gord? Yeah, I'm keen. And I mentioned just that I was going to have something on number 12, Man of Peace. I'm not, I'm not anymore. So no bet on Man of Peace now, just backing Archidemus. Mm. All right. So you're basically saying we're, 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 just, you know, we're working with a slow track here. And um, it's, uh, so you, your thoughts are slightly moderated on... On, on, on the lightweights. Yeah. yeah. And Glenn, um, still pretty keen on Matawi uh, as an each way bet because I just think it gets a real suck on the race. I think still twenty six dollars this morning. Hmm. I thought I had a chance. Okay. Well, Academus looks solid, and Dillmaker looks solid. Um, they appear to be um, the standouts in the market. Um, race nine is um, well. The emergency's got to start. We also lost um, two of our leaders. So Spanish Dream and Miss Scorcher come out. Well, that means I have Malia Magic leading. Um, certainly Blazing Miss could lead it if it wanted to because it did lead it the other day. But um, um, Jay Collett gets held to Malia Magic here, Glenn. And so Gunn gets on board some covet spirit. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Good right. Good pick up for Gunn. Yeah. Uh, any, thought, any last minute thoughts here, Gord? Yeah, I was going to back four horses. Now I'm only going to back two, so... I'm only backing number three, so taken, and number seven, Sakura. I'm not backing the two down the bottom now. Okay. Yeah, there has been money for Viola. Um, I guess, you know, that it's in response to the fact that um, it, the, the track was heavy or was posted as heavy. Miss Steed's had some fans as well, Glenn. Miss Steed has fans all the time, though. Yeah, but this is her, um, her penchant, you know, 1,200 yep. wet, wet track at Randwick. Um, I think she's got a chance, you know. And, like... you know. I think we put yeah. nine horses in the quad. He tells yeah, you a little bit about yeah. the race. Yeah. All right. Well, that's look. That's a, that's a top up for Randwick today, which is it remains an interesting card despite uh, the, despite the number of scratchings. Um, don't forget that um, anyone who's betting with D Dwyer today uh, from ten forty five till twelve o'clock, he's betting one hundred and ten percent on the last three races, and you can get on to win as much as ten thousand or as little as a dollar, yeah, bucks, twenty dollars. <laughs> I don't know. What's the min? <laughs> Uh, I don't know what the min is, but uh, he's also got an offer today that if you back a top weight, and I haven't checked whether there are multiple top weights in any of the races, uh, you can get a bonus of up to $100 based on a minimum bet of $20. That's his, that's his promo today. Um, wow. Other than that, uh, Racing Rant's got a ton of content and we're also heavily involved, you know, heavily invested with the stewards at the moment. So there's even more enjoyment and entertainment yeah. for you. For you. Uh, of course, Gord has, 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 has his involvement with the stewards has, um, well, has ceased at this point because he's, now. He's the oh, yeah, man. you two are cheering me on to cop another charge, are you? You <laughs> want to come and join us? Back in the mix. 
come and join us, Gord. Anyway, oh, funny yeah. stuff. So if you follow us, Racing Rant, uh, you, you also get uh, a little... Uh, come along for the fight. Yeah. <laughs> but, but more importantly, uh, you get a ton of content, five, five shows a week, um, and uh, seriously good, well, deep assessments on all Sydney Metro meetings and uh, the Mounting Yard Mail from uh, those meetings as we well. We also have a growing family out wide with Maddie Taylor, a few guest judges. And yeah, yeah well, I mean, Gord, Gord has, done, a, has built... done an amazing job uh, finding the um, finding the third wheels on Tuesday. And they've, I must say, they've really added some spark to the midweek preview. And um, I don't know whether Kev got all his mates to watch on on uh, Tuesday, but I, it was nearly double the, the viewing on uh, on Tuesday night, Gord. Oh, that's because you were really? He's, he's got <laughs> no, that'd be Kev, the young kids sending them out there to get yeah. old, you know, to get uh, the numbers up. Yeah. Oh, they're sharing the show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> be careful who you share it with. But anyway, look, come on board because uh, it's $29 a week for all that content and uh, you get the first two weeks free. So you can uh, check it all out at no cost to you, no obligation, and you'd be mad if you didn't. So uh, we hope to see you soon. See you guys. See you guys. Make sure you